Well, hello, my beautiful souls. I hope you are doing amazing. Um, I'm not sure of my face this time. Um, just because I don't want to. <laughs> Honestly, that's really why. I'm still going to pull who's next out of this little bag here. And if you're new, my name is Amber. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to our kind and supportive community that we all have created as a collective. And thank you for returning if you've been here before. Lending your energy to the channel really helps. Even if you don't think it does, it really does help. So we're doing Virgo. I'm really connecting to runes um, the second half of April, so this is what we're going to use. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so Spirit Guide, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy. What do you have for Virgo? What would you like for them to know regarding mid-month April? Okay. Alright Virgo, so if you find anything here that you can use, hit that like button so I know. And if you find if you know someone who needs something from this reading or within this reading, go ahead and share that because we share healing around these parts. Subscribe if you want to see more and comment so I know how the energy is playing out in your life. I love to know. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the, the World card. The Empress in reverse. The Seven of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups. And one more for you, Virgo. Temperance in reverse and Strength wanted to come out. I'm going to use that as a Renegade card pretty much. <clears throat> and then the Four of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Alright, and let's pull three cards for you, Virgo. <clears throat> okay. So let's talk about your runes really quickly. And then we're going to go into your reading. I'm just going to read. I hope that's clear. Okay. Success. Um, success, uh, a striking, a striking type of success. Something that's happening, um, not quickly. Just a striking It's a success in something. Like a really big surprise that you didn't see coming, Virgo. And you feel really good, you feel really happy, you real you feel really honored. And having success or succeeding at something. Maybe over someone else. Or just success period. You're just really happy to be succeeding. To be doing well. <clears throat> okay, so strength in reverse came out. This is telling me that this is something that you maybe had a weakness in. This could be possibly somebody I'm hearing. 
that you had a weakness for or a situation, but it really feels like someone. Or for some of you, it's like something that you didn't really pay attention to um, or that you tried to ignore or move on from and it is now an actual issue or something that actually needs to be dealt with. Yeah, something that you were juggling, Virgo. I really feel like you were juggling something that was happening in your life. Um, or maybe even juggling time or giving too much time to too many things. Trying to juggle too many things. And that's going to come to a rest. Um, if you were scrambling to put money together um, to make ends meet, that's going to stop. It's not going to be something that you continuously have to do. <clears throat> yeah, something really big in your life is coming to an end. You all, It feels like something is unfortunate for you. <clears throat> like maybe a situation is unfortunate. You had to pick up extra hours at work. It's unfortunate. Or uh, for someone, maybe jobs are cutting hours. Something is unfortunately happening in your life. And it feels like a decision that you didn't make. It's just something that you have to deal with during this time, right? <clears throat> but I feel like you're doing everything that you can. You're putting in the work. Even though this situation is unfortunate, you're doing what it is that you have to do. Honestly, Virgo, it feels like you're making a way. You're making it happen. <clears throat> it's not the way you want it to be, but you're totally making it happen, right? It's like you see the truth in a situation. You don't see it for it being bad. You see the truth in what is happening and you're paying attention to that. I also feel like you don't know how long you can do this. Like, you know you have to do it, but it's a little bit overwhelmed. It's like something is picking up or something is ramping up. Either there's more that you have to do, more responsibilities, or uh, more things that you have to think about. But, and again, it's a decision that was made for you. I don't feel like you made this decision. It's something that's coming towards you and not something that you're creating in your life, okay? Yeah, you're deciding to create a new way. Um, you're hoping for something better to come. Um for some of you, there may be a younger fire sign that you're around that's not as nurturing as they were before. Um, if you're in a relationship with this person, don't let them overdo it. Don't put in all the energy and all of the work and not have them give anything or just be mean to you. Because I feel like you're taking a lot from this person. If this resonates with you, you're taking a lot from this person and it's not fair. <clears throat> but I feel like you're trying to be calm about the situation or you're trying to be sensible about the situation. Because you're like, if I keep fighting, if I keep fighting, it's going to end. If I keep hanging on, someone will apologize to me. If I keep hanging on, this situation will clear up. I see a lot of that happening, okay? Um, but I feel like it's... The way that I see this, if you keep working on yourself, 
things will end. It's not about you working on the current situation for what it is. This is very interesting. I feel like there's going to be an end here. But I do feel a little bit of back and forth and a little bit of hesitation here. The reminder here is to realize that you're not being nurtured and you actually want something different in whatever this is okay honestly Virgo it's like <clears throat> you need to go with the flow of a situation but not take it to heart that's what I'm feeling with this. You really want to like give and you want to dive in there and make something happen or to change something. But this is a situation you kind of have to flow with, right? Um, I do feel like this is going to resolve itself. But at the same time, you can't allow this misfortune to, or you wanting to end this misfortune to for you to give too much of yourself and also you don't want to allow somebody to take advantage of you so take a rest from juggling because like I said with your runes it is very much about having success or realizing a situation, like suddenly realizing or suddenly understanding the situation from in the inside, though. Kind of like whatever is happening right now, the struggle and everything, it's going to come to an end. But until then, you have to keep fighting. It's very interesting, Virgo, because I want to tell you to keep fighting. But at the same time, I just mean stay within the situation for now. Okay? Um, stay within the situation, but find balance within yourself. Don't try to take control of the reins. Okay? Because it feels like you and whatever is going on, this could be another person or a situation are in two different paths you're trying to get to the same place but you're just veering off and eventually you're, you'll come back and be on the same path but right now you just need to let it flow i feel like you can still surprise yourself that you can even handle it honestly Somebody may be dealing with a third party person. It's interesting because whoever this is, you don't want to fight about whatever this is. You don't want to fight about this third party person. Interesting. I'm trying to see what other messages they're giving me. Yeah, there's a big feeling here of not wanting to change a happy situation. If it's a third party situation, realize that you're more important than that. Okay, but some people just aren't happy for like the circumstances. Yeah, because maybe there isn't a spark or there isn't any passion or something seems to be missing here. Or maybe work is getting in the way or being around each other all the time. There's something that's getting in the way here.
They just keep telling me to put the fighting on hold for now, see? And things will change later. I'm going to leave that there. It sounds very strange and very weird, and I don't know why. But the biggest message that I'm getting here is to just put things on hold. It's like there's a weakness or a weak in the link, like a weak link, Virgo. I don't know whether it's you or your partner or the situation, but it's almost like there's a weak link in the situation and arguing or fighting or pushing back isn't going to do anything but make it worse so don't do that <laughs> so let's pull out some oracle cards for you Okay, we're going to start off with your energy card, Virgo. Actually, they want this one. That's so funny. Yeah. So it's a situation that you've been in, whether this is a relationship or whether this is a career that you love, you know, that you put your all into. But it just feels like you're trying to do your best to make things better. Also, a lot of you... <laughs> It's some sort of relationship issue for those of you who are in a relationship right now. And I feel as though maybe you've been around each other or you're separated or there's something going on on the other side or with you. Okay. And you just want to try to make it better. You want to try to make the situation better. You want to try to be caring and open and get someone to talk. But this is one of those situations where you kind of just have to have this unconditional love feeling um, and let someone know that you're there for them. It could be a family member that really needs your attention. It's like somebody needs you to help them ground themselves, you know, or just being around them or being friendly with them. There's something where someone needs you. But it's nothing to start a fight over. Because, okay, so it's like <clears throat> someone may be being mean or short with you. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It has more to do with that person um, going through things. Now, with abundance, you have attracting, not chasing, which is beautiful. Don't go chasing someone. Don't go chasing a thing. Don't go trying to bring it to you or doing what it is that you can to present your love or your heart or your affection or tell somebody how much you care or try to get them to talk to you, right? It's more about you just being who you are, being that beam of light, being that open communication and connection they need and then they'll come to you, okay? So don't push somebody away by trying to smother them, all right? <laughs> so Virgo, thank you so much for listening. Um, if you need more details on your specific energy or situation, I would be more than happy to do a reading for you. And um, you can go to the description box below or this little website right up here. Thank you for being here to receive the messages I have for you. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.